Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's drawing, I am working on a underwater castle theme. So this painting was inspired by a sketch that I did for Inktober. Once I had finished that, I decided I wanted to see it in color, so I started to work on this watercolor. Starting off, I laid down a blue wash, and then I moved on to painting in the ocean above the castle, and then the ocean floor and the mountains. For the ocean floor, I used a burnt umber, and then for the, um, for the mountains, I used a darker color. That way it could convey shadows that are cast upon the mountains. After blocking out the basic shapes of the ocean floor and the sea above the castle, I decided to go through and mask off the spires of the castle. Comment down below if you would like to see a video on the masking fluid that I use. After the masking fluid has completely dried, I will go back over and add shadows into the deeper areas of the mountains. I use a stippling effect for this, that way it looks like there are big jagged areas and some rocks. Using the same color that I used for the shadows, and a similar stippling technique, I will go back in and create the path that is leading up to the castle. For the nearer mountains, I blocked in the basic shape using a wet on wet technique with a kind of more orangish brown color. And then I salt glazed by sprinkling some salt on the still damp paint and letting it dry completely. This helps to add a nice rocky texture. Moving on, I carefully painted around the spires to make sure that um, the background behind the castle looked as realistic as possible. Using a number one round brush combined with the masking fluid that I applied, I layered in the colors for the background. Your first reaction while working in the background here would be to lay down light layers. And that's a great start, but you have to remember that these mountains are going to be continuing behind your castle and will provide that darkness. So keep layering it in and come back to it later on in the drawing. That way you can make sure that they're dark enough. Next came my favorite part, and that was to actually paint in the castle. I knew I wanted the castle to look like it was a glowing pearl on the bottom of the ocean, so keeping that in mind, I mixed blue and purples together to create a very luminescent looking castle. Once again, using a wet on wet technique, I blocked in the colors. I worked on the castle in several layers, once again, to ensure that I didn't make it too dark on the first pass. It also allowed me to provide depth and texture. For the furthest shadows of the castle, I actually added more purple so that it would have a deeper look. While working on the castle, don't forget to work on the peripheral spires. So I kind of wanted to imply a city around the castle, so I created these spires inside of the mountain. Once it was time to paint the spires, I had to remove the masking fluid. So, once again, using my number one paintbrush, I went through and carefully painted around each of the spires. After you have removed masking fluids, it's very important that you use your smaller brushes and a very confident hand while working around these spires. It will help keep them nice and pristine. That being said, I didn't mind a bit of a coral look to these, so if, it, if my hand accidentally jostled a bit of a jagged look, I didn't mind because I kind of wanted that kind of corally look. I mixed indigo and sepia in almost equal proportions to create a very, very dark, almost black color, and I used this to help fill in the final detail work of the pebbles and to create mer, mer people guards and a mer couple out on a swim. To finish this drawing up, I used a dry brush technique to create some extra texture in the mountains. To do this, I worked with the dry brush and a very dark brown, so the, probably the same color that I used um, for the mer people, but just a little bit more diluted with um, browns, and brushed it carefully over the mountains. 
The dry brush will provide a broken look. Finally, using masking fluid and layering, I went through and added seaweed. Progressively getting darker, the further back it went. I mixed blues and browns to provide a nice dark green. Flicking the brush at the very end of their stroke will provide a nice sharp edge to your seaweed. If you guys would like to follow me on my Inktober quest and see the original of this drawing, you may find the links in the description box below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!